All right, guys, it is Saturday night again, and I am so excited because tonight we are going to watch a movie which up to about a week ago I had not yet seen myself, even though I have gone to hundreds of Spirit Halloween stores and looked at the props that are related to this movie. And the movie that I'm talking about is Killer Clowns from Outer Space. I can't say I really like this cover right here, but when I tried to peel it down, I dislike that cover even more. It's just not very cool. But anyways, it's not about the cover, it's about the movie. So yes, the name Killer Clowns from Outer Space seems pretty freaky. I'm actually surprised I have never seen it. Well, up until a few days ago. But if you're wondering, but can my kid watch this? I would have to say yes. The typical Spirit Halloween viewer base on this channel can definitely handle this movie. I previewed this movie myself just to make sure, and anything that would really be a concern is basically just implied. There's like teenagers in the back of cars, well, people who are supposed to be teenagers, but they look like they're about 35 years old. You know how they did it in the 80s. In Greece, everybody who was supposed to be a teenager is about 47, 48. But anyways, yes, it's a very cheesy 1980s movie. And like I said, if your kid goes to Spirit Halloween, he can handle this movie. I don't even really recall that the language was all that bad. So anyways, Killer Clowns from Outer Space that's what we're watching tonight, guys. And I couldn't think of anything better to make. And I know there's killer popcorn in there, but I didn't know how to make a killer popcorn. Plus, that would just be kind of boring because it would just be like a bowl of popcorn. If you've seen the movie, you know what I mean. So what we're going to make tonight is an awesome snack slash craft. We are making official cotton candy cocoons. Now, how are we going to do that? Well, I had to go to the store and figure it out myself. I tried to film when I was in there, but guys, for some reason, that store was so hot that I was sweating like a pig up in that piece. So you can probably see the bag right there behind me. I already went out and got the stuff. I have a little bit of footage from the store, which I'll show you because I want to make sure you get the right things if you go to do this yourself. So without further ado, let's get down to making our cotton candy cocoons. But first... Who's ready to clown? Okay, so as I said, guys, I went to the Dollar Tree to get this stuff, and I got everything I needed at the Dollar Tree, except for a couple of things that I already have here. So, the first thing we needed was pink cotton candy, because in this movie, they, like, spin a web of cotton candy and trap people in the cotton candy cocoons. That cocoon just happens to be pink. So, the first thing I went looking for in there was pink cotton candy. I literally found it within seconds. It's this fluffy stuff, watermelon cotton candy. And as you can see, it is pink. Now they had other cotton candy that was like multicolored. I think they had yellows even and blues. They had one pack that didn't even tell you what color, but apparently it's kind of like you open it up and you find out what color it is. You can use any color you want to, but for the purpose of this, and because it's pink in the movie, we are gonna use pink. Now I got three bags of this stuff in case I mess it up because cotton candy is sticky. We've worked with cotton candy before. If you remember, we made our aliens from um, the Jimmy Neutron movie and one of them I made out of cotton candy and it's like, it's sticky, it falls apart. So this is gonna be interesting. The next thing I got was these little shot cups. They're little plastic shot cups. There's 24 in here, guys. Buck 25 at the dollar 25 tree. You kind of got to look around for a while to find these. At least I did, but I finally did find them. And I'll show you what we're going to use these for in a minute. I also bought electrical tape. Now we need the yellow and the black. 
I could have got paint, and actually I had paint in my cart at first, but I decided to get the electrical tape because it's faster and there's no mess. And I'll show you what we're gonna use that for in a minute too. The next thing I needed was a hook. I needed a black hook about this size. I looked all over that store, guys. I was gonna use pipe cleaners, but they only had colored ones and I wanted a black one. They didn't have any other kinds of hooks. And then I spotted these, bungee cords. Now, this comes with four, five, five little bungee cords for a buck 25, which I gotta say, I bought a lot of bungee cords in my days. A buck 25 for these is one heck of a deal. So the thing about these is they have black hooks on them. So if we take it out of the package here, I can show you that each of these has a black hook. There's a little one, and that would probably do the trick. Um, and then here's bigger ones here. Now we'll have to cut the bungee cord to get that off of there, but that's what I needed, just that one little piece. And for such a deal, five bungee cords for a buck 25, I will destroy one of these to get the hook, and I will have four bungee cords to use for whatever I need them for. The last thing I needed to get, guys, was a person to put inside the cotton candy cocoon. I looked at the dolls that they had there, I looked at action figures, I looked at everything that I could think of, even candy, looking for some kind of candy that was shaped like a face. I found like the little Sour Patch Kids and a few other things like that, but the faces were so small and this is gonna be kinda big. So I ended up going with this corny little baby doll right here. <laughs> Buck 25, it was the best thing I could find to do this with. And we don't need the body, we're just gonna rip off the head and use the head. So goodbye, baby doll. Wait a minute. We can make that a haunted doll right there with no head. <laughs> anyway, okay, so let's keep moving here, guys. So the things that I had here at home that I think I'm gonna need as well. The first thing is some gloves. Now, I grabbed these gloves because I think I'm gonna need them in trying to shape the cotton candy. Because like I said, when we use the cotton candy before, it like sticks to your hands. And then when you try to mold it, it pulls apart. It's a real mess to work with. So I'm kind of hoping that maybe using gloves and getting them wet a little bit will help with that. So I have a boo bucket here that I put a little bit of water in so that we can just kind of dip in there and keep our hands wet. We're gonna try it at least. If it doesn't work, we got extra cotton candy. I have red food coloring here, and then I have the red gel food coloring here. This is a little bit thicker. It might work better for what we want, but the face inside the cotton candy cocoon is of a dead person, I guess. So their face is red, or maybe it's like red because of the sugar of the cotton candy. I don't know, but somehow we need to make that face red when we put it in our cotton candy cocoon. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is take one of our plastic shot glasses. Now, the reason we're using the shot glass is because if you've seen the picture of the cotton candy cocoons, there's like a little thing on top of it that almost looks like a hat. It's shaped a little bit different from this, but this will work perfectly. And we're gonna take our yellow and black electrical tape and we're gonna make this yellow and black striped, just like in the movie. Now, painting this yellow and black striped might be a little easier, I don't know, but using the tape is definitely not gonna be as messy as paint was, plus you don't have to wait for it to dry. So the first thing that I did was I taped the black over the top because we're gonna need to punch a hole in there, and these are really flimsy. You can see where it's already broken, just by me putting that tape on there and putting a little bit of pressure on. We're gonna use a screwdriver and poke a hole in the top after I've taped this up. So if you tape up the top first, then you've got these areas around the side here that would be ugly otherwise. We're gonna be able to tape over those just by starting our tape like that on there. So we're just gonna twist it around and electrical tape is stretchy too. So it can kind of conform to this and be bent around it, you know, without getting wrinkles in here. And it's very easy just to keep it right around the edge of the bottom of the glass. Now you might wanna go around a couple times just to make sure, because like I said, these things are pretty uh, flimsy and you don't wanna spend the time in wrapping it up and then try to punch the hole in the top and it breaks the whole thing and you gotta start over. All right, so there we go. We've started it with the black. So the whole cup is black now. We're gonna take the screwdriver and just punch a hole in there. And that actually worked much better than I thought it would. Went straight through there and since we had the tape on there, 
it prevented it from breaking the cup anymore. So now we have a little hole there and we're gonna run our hook right up through there, but not before we use the yellow to put our yellow stripes on there. So what I'm gonna do is we need stripes of yellow. Before I even peel it off here, instead of peeling it off and then trying to cut it into little strips, I'm just gonna go around this a little bit and cut it while it's on the roll. Now, of course, this is gonna cut through and if you need some yellow tape later on, it's gonna be a difficult thing. But for this project, it's the best thing we can do to create yellow stripes. Okay, so I've cut it around almost all the way around once. That way when we peel it, we're peeling individual little stripes right here. We can take the stripes, put it right on there, and tape it all the way around. So there we got our first yellow stripe on there. And you kinda gotta stretch them when you're putting them on to make sure they go all the way around or just cut them the right length. <laughs> I love doing these little crafty things for the movie nights. It's so much fun and it makes the movie that much better when you can kinda join in. All right, one more yellow stripe here. So there we go, we got our yellow striped little cap to go on top of our cotton candy cocoon. So we need one of these hooks now. I'm gonna take it off the red one. You see how it's loose here? I hate to destroy a bungee cord, but it is what it is. You gotta have a cotton candy cocoon. <laughs> All right, there we go. There's our hook. Came right off the end of the bungee cord once I cut it. Let's see. So inside here, it has split, even though there's just a little hole. Now, there's no way to get that hook through there Unless I cut that bigger, I thought I was going to be able to put it in there and just slide it right through, but I guess not. I guess you learn as you go, though, <laughs> when you're doing crafts. So I'm going to put a slice in here, starting at that hole. And be careful, because like I said, these things are flimsy. You don't want to break the cup anymore. But since we already have the tape on there, it'll be a lot better. So now... I made a slice from one end to the other. We can just put this right up in there and push it through. And there we go, we got the hook on the end. And for anybody thinking, well, you should have done that in the first place, I gotta say, it wouldn't have worked good to do it in the first place because it's flimsy. And if you would have cut that split in there, it would have just busted the whole thing. So with the tape keeping it tougher, it works out a lot better, and the hole in there allows for the hook to actually stick out how it should. So you do need that hole in there anyway. Okay, piece of tape on each side there, and then we'll just use scissors to cut around there, and there we go. That's our lid or top or whatever you want to call it with the hook for hanging our cotton candy cocoon. Now, just because it's the way I am and I can't stand that that's a little messy up there, I'm gonna make one more yellow stripe so I can clean it up a little bit. And there we go. Yep, looks 100% better. Okay, let's move on to the actual cotton candy cocoon. This is the messy part. Now, there is something else I'm gonna do first before we make the actual cocoon. We could put the baby head inside the cocoon just as it is and mold it around it. But I honestly think it's gonna be much easier if we cut the face off. <laughs> and then that way we can stick it in the side of the cocoon once we've made it, mold a little bit of cotton candy around it. And I think that will be much better. And I gotta say, I feel kind of weird about cutting a baby head in half, but I gotta do it. I should have gone to like a Joanne Fabrics or something because you can buy like baby heads and baby faces that are already like this and you don't have to go through the trauma of knowing you're cutting the face off a baby. So, all right, there we go, guys. I didn't want to show you it happening because it's just weird, but there's the baby face. That way, when we have our cocoon, we can just kind of stick it in there and it'll be sticking out of the cocoon. And like I said, build a little bit of cotton candy around it. Otherwise, we got this much more of a hunk of a head inside the cotton candy cocoon. Okay, so we're gonna set our baby face to the side. Okay, fluffy stuff, watermelon, cotton candy. This will be interesting. 
It's definitely the strangest smelling cotton candy I've ever smelled. You know, while it's in the bag here, I'm going to try to mold it. That way I don't have to get my hands on that at all. I think we can pull this off, maybe. Well, This is why we got three bags, guys, so we can make mistakes. The top has to be molded enough, like small enough, for this to sit on top. And the candy cocoon has to be shaped basically like an upside down light bulb. That is really, if this is, if this turns out to be that easy, I'm gonna be so happy. Sometimes I get into these crafts and they end up being such a mess. It took me, what, four days to make the Indiana Jones monkey skull. Okay, let's take a look at this here. I molded this inside of the bag. Let's hope it looks good. Oh, it's already falling apart. See, that's what I'm talking about. Well, there's the top that I tried to mold. <laughs> Yeah, I wish you could, like, work with it like dough, but it just doesn't work that way. All right, so let's set this aside. We still have enough in here where I can try once again to mold it. Ah, see, it falls apart. Dang. How can we keep it from falling apart? So here's the bottom part. Here's this part that just ripped off. And it, it it's, man, that's difficult to work with so that it'll give us something sticky to work here. Ah, oh my gosh. It immediately, look at this. It immediately starts like dissolving, but you know what, let's see if this will stick. Nope. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at it, it's like melting in my hand. Hmm. Dang, that tastes good. Look at that, look how crazy that is. We're gonna utilize this, guys, look at this. Forget the food coloring. We're taking the baby face straight in to the melting candy. All right, I mean, I mean, that might actually work because that's kind of how it looks in the movie. All right, I'm gonna set that down because it's completely dissolving. I knew this was gonna be a mess. Where do, where do I get these ideas? Now I'm sticky. <laughs> All right, let's set that aside. Like I said, that's why I bought three bags of this stuff. So the water isn't gonna help anything. That tells me that we can't even stick our hands in the water on the gloves so that it creates like a slippery surface because it just eats away the cotton candy immediately. Okay, I think I have a solution, guys. I looked around a little bit to see what we could work with. I thought about the mechanics of the cotton candy we cannot mold it around anything. We can't really mold it into the shape that we need. We're definitely not gonna be able to hang it. Now, if you were just making this a prop, you could get some pink fleece and you could make something that you could actually keep and that you could hang up. But since we're trying to keep it edible for it to be an actual snack during the movie, we have to use cotton candy. So I like the idea of molding it inside the bag. So we're going to stick with that idea, although this one feels like it's two pieces. I highly recommend getting several bags of this, guys. Yeah, because it's just going to fall apart no matter what. But I did get one of these, which is just a little clear cup that we have used in the past with our crafts. And, uh, and I think we put our ice cream in one of these. These are also at the Dollar Tree. I think you get 12 of them for a buck 25. That will make a nice little base that we can set this down in at least. And then we can set this on top. We can just build our cotton candy cocoon on that. And unfortunately, we can't like pick it up and go, but <laughs> it'll still be an awesome cotton candy cocoon to eat during the movie regardless. So. I'm going to mold this once again in the bag. I expect it to fall apart when I pull it out, but I'm going to try to do it in a way where it won't. Stick your hand all the way in the bag. Put your hand on the cocoon. I can feel it falling apart already. Turn it upside down and slide the bag off. That way we get the whole thing in our hand. <laughs> you can hold it like this and it's not falling apart. So this is the shape that we have so far. And that might just have to be the shape because it's really dry, like on the outside here. And you can mold it enough where we're going to be able to put our lid on in a minute. But yeah, you can see how it's very crumbly. So 
Let's use this side as the face because it looks better than the other side. And we're going to set it right in that bowl there. It reminds me of Patrick Starr from SpongeBob. <laughs> oh my gosh. There it is so far. It's in this, at least it's secure. And as long as you don't shake it around very much, it's not gonna break and fall apart. The next thing we're gonna try to do is put that baby face in. I mean, it's just gonna do it and then I'll show you. And I'm holding it like this, just pushing it in and securing the back of this thing so that I don't just break it. What a crazy craft. <laughs> oh my gosh. We Yeah, we'd have never been able to make this work if we tried to use the whole baby head. So this is the best we were going to do with that. And there it is. I mean, that worked. That's probably the best we're going to get with that. With that face, you can see how it has the uh, the candy, the cotton candy on it. I'm going to leave it like that because I don't want to do anything more that might jeopardize our cotton candy cocoon. I suppose I could drip a tiny bit of this food coloring on here. Uh, let's just, if I ruin this, I'm going to be so mad. All right, I'm holding it like this, tilting it like this to support it. And I highly suggest you do what I do. <laughs> It just looks dumb. It did not even work how I wanted it to work. However, yeah, it's the, the food coloring itself is eating the cotton candy. Look at that. It looks like she's got a really weird hairdo or something. All right, that looks a little bit better, I guess. It's supposed to be blood. I don't know. <laughs> All right, that's about the best it's going to be. At least it doesn't look like a weird hairdo anymore. However... I'm just saying, if you're planning on eating this, I wouldn't go putting half a bottle of food coloring on it. So, we're going to go ahead and somehow try to get this on the top now and finish off our cotton candy cocoon. All I did was just mold that top a little bit smaller. This is going right on top of that. The face is trying to come off. Oh my gosh. All right, there we go, guys. I mean, honestly, that's not too bad. That looks pretty hilarious, but, I mean, you tell me. How could we better make a cotton candy cocoon for our killer clowns from outer space movie night? There it is, right there. Even from the side, it looks pretty cool. <laughs> oh my gosh, how insane. Where do I come up with this crap? All right, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you come back every Saturday night. We're about to sit down and watch Killer Clowns from Outer Space and have our cotton candy cocoons snack. Look at that thing. <laughs>